I think tonight's the night. What are you talking about? I'm gonna make my move. You don't have moves. I have moves. Hey, what's up YouTube land? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Prime 1st Edition Deluxe Class RC. So here we are, there she is, and first and foremost, as always, we will take a quick look at the packaging. So here it is, Transformers Prime, yes, her name is RC. Here you have the 1st Edition Silver Foilage of Awesome uh, up here. You have a nice picture of RC looking all sexified. Uh, turn it around, you got your obligatory product shots, your cross cells, and yes, you can watch Transformers Prime on TV. I'm currently on season 58 in my head, because that's where I've been watching it. <laughs> Apparently I've been doing it wrong. But anyway, after you open up the package, you also get your blue cardboard rock display stand. Yay, I have two now. Moving right along, so here is RC in her show accurate colors and very nicely done. Definitely looks a lot better in the show accurate colors. Um, no offense to the New York Comic Con one, but uh, this version is definitely the one to have. Um, very nicely done. But here is RC next to her New York Comic Con version, and here you can kind of see the uh, the differences in the paint scheme. As if they're not obvious, but just in case you want to wear, here are the differences in the paint scheme. And here she is. I almost called her he. I'm sorry, RC. I'm sorry. Here she is, next to uh, New York Bumblebee. Just for some size comparisons. And um, for another comparison, here she is next to uh, uh, my thumb. Yes. And if you can't tell how big my thumb is, here is my thumb next to Snarf. And if you can't tell how big Snarf is, here he is next to a pair of tweezers. And if you can't tell how big the tweezers are, here it is next to a paintbrush. And if you can't tell how big the paintbrush is, here it is next to an empty can of Vienna sausages. Have I taken this joke too far? I agree. Here's the toy. Okay, so, yes, um, again, same figure as the, uh, the New York Comic Con one, just in the show accurate colors. Um, and again, it does have these grossly oversized blades that just peg in right here. Um, again, I really don't like these things. They're just way too big, and I usually will display her without them because it just looks a lot better and a lot cleaner without those blades, so, yeah, these are just, eh, 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 yeah, but, um, yes, it's RC, the same RC as New York Comic Con one, but I still like it, like, I, I like these colors a lot better, look a lot better on her, but, um, transformation is the exact same as a New York Comic Con one, so, you pretty much know how this is going to go, you're just going to tab these sections, you're going to bring the legs down, Split the legs, which splits the wheels. Uh, bring this up. Bring the foot out. Bring this whole thing down on the double hinge. And this will all lock in right there. Do the same thing with the other leg. Bring the foot out. Bring this down. Line it up here with that little blue tab right there, right in the middle of the spokes. And that'll make that look all good and show accurate. Fold this down. Rotate it 180. Bring the arms down. Rotate them. Bring the other, the other, the other arm down. My tongue stopped working for a second. Rotate it. Come here and split this front section like that and bring this oh, it's stuck bring this windshield section up like that 
I'm kind of going through this kind of quickly because, like I said, you know, I've, I've done this before, so if you've seen the New York Comic Con review, then you pretty much already know how to do this. And if not, I'll post a link to the New York Comic Con version. Just so you can see that. Um, I'm just going to bring this whole section down. Bring out the head. Bring it forward. Bring down her robo boobs. Excuse me. Uh, bring the wheel down. And again, the instructions tell you to, you know, rotate it 90 degrees like that. But again, I don't like the way that looks because then you can just see that wheel just kind of hanging out under her arms. So I don't, I don't like it. So I just leave it. I leave it like that. Then you just rotate the windshield. You know, flip these handlebars down. Or you can leave them up however you want, but I, I, I fold them down. Bring this whole thing down. And these pieces here, you can do whatever you want. You can bring them up or leave them down. I, 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 I leave them slightly down just to kind of preserve her uh, sleek look. Because it's all about the sleekness with RC, and that's what I like to... I like to leave her that way. I like to leave her looking as sleek as I possibly can, even with all this junk on her back. But there she is. There is RC in robot mode, looking very nice and show accurate. Excuse me. You do still have to fiddle with her with her robo boobs a little bit because they do tend to not stay where they're supposed to. Excuse me. I'm sorry. But um, yes, very nicely done. Head sculpt, of course, looks great. And the light piping does work a lot better on this one as opposed to the New York Comic Con one. But yeah, very nicely done. Like the silver paint apps. Looks nice. She is missing a few paint apps. I think she's supposed to have some pink right here on her wrist and whatnot. But, you know, it's still very nicely done. Um, articulation is the same. Head's on a ball joint. She has that little neck joint here, which allows her to uh, kind of... Do that little deal. Uh, ball jointed shoulders. You get your bicep swivel. Double jointed elbow. You got your wrist movement. You got your ankle movement. Your ankle. <laughs> this is not an ankle. What the heck am I talking about? This is a waist. Waist movement. Hips are on a ball joint. You do get a swivel at the top part of the hip. Uh, pretty much full range of movement. I can't talk today. My God, my tongue refuses to work. Forgive me. I love you. Let's try this again. Full range of movement on the knee and no movement on the feet. Man. <laughs> work with me, tongue. Work with me. God. And yeah, um, and the only real downside is that she has all this junk on her back, and um, you know these these fins are supposed to be coming out of her back; they're not supposed to be on her shoulders. But even with that, I don't care. I still think this figure looks great. I, I like the mold. I loved it with the New York version, and I still like it very much. And the show accurate colors, and, and like I said, it, it looks a lot better in show accurate colors. Still very nice. Now for comparison. Here she is with her New York Comic Con self. And again, you can clearly, clearly see the differences there. And here she is with Bumblebee. And here she is with San Diego Comic Con Prime. As you can see, she's a little bit, maybe a hair taller than Prime. And there she is with Starscream. So. And here she is with an empty can of Vienna sausages. I'll stop. I'll, I'll stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But yes, um, amazing figure. And I'll, I'll say it again. Oh, I forgot to put her kickstand down. Sorry about that. <laughs> How dare I forget that. <laughs> Oh my god, I would I would have gotten like 50 comments. You forgot to put the kickstand down. Did you know you forgot to put the kickstand the kickstand down? Oh, I thought I should tell you. You forgot to put the kickstand down. I don't know if you realize this, but you forgot to put the kickstand down. I would have gotten like 50 of those. So I'm glad I I'm glad I caught that. I caught that now. But um again, uh the, I love this figure. I'm loving the prime line so far. Um these figures are 
hard to find right now. Um, all I can tell you is go to ToysRUs.com often. Go to your local Toys R Us often. That's all I can tell you as far as finding these. Um, I, I found RC at my local Toys R Us as well as the other ones. Um, I was lucky. <laughs> I think they just opened up the case and put them out when I when I got to my local Toys R Us. So that that's all I can that's all I can tell you. Um, don't pay eBay prices. Don't pay import prices unless it is your absolute last resort. Um, but yeah, if you can get your hands on her, definitely definitely pick her up. But th these Prime toys so far are amazing. I love them so. Definitely highly recommended. And uh, I think that is pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Prime First Edition Deluxe RC. And this is Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, palm in your face. Listen, RC, I don't think we can deny that there's just some kind of energy between us. There's a spark, there's chemistry here. And honestly, if we pass up this opportunity, we'll regret it for the rest of our lives. So, what do you say? Well, that didn't turn out how I'd hoped. Why don't you people listen to me? Seriously.